But uh, the first thing, these uh, these awards that they were fixing up, they gave out to certain individuals. Uh, these these were voted on by their peers. Okay, these these, uh, these awards that were were fixing to give out. Uh, as soon as the season was over, we uh, we we hand them a ballot, and uh, the kids the kids uh, they they filled it out themselves. You know, we have nothing to do with this. So as far as the, the awards we are speaking to here, the coaches are going to present. Uh, again, as they're voted on by the peers. So, what? You guys ready? Again, that's one thing that I want to you know emphasize this year. Uh, you know, sometimes we, we worry about all these all these prize stickers and stuff like that that we're gonna. We're not we're not we're not gonna take that out, guys. So I'm gonna still keep that. But I want you guys to understand about the importance of everybody pushing together, pulling together, working together. You know, I ain't gonna say this together, but sometimes it is gonna really happen, but we're gonna go down swinging together. So uh, one thing that we just carry on and do different this year is just coming here. But uh, the first one up. Uh, the senior leadership award goes out to a player who had uh, the respect of his team and the coaches. Uh, he had 22 pancakes, he made the all district team, and he was a great local leader, but more importantly, he was a leader by example. And the Senior Leadership Award goes to George Spinoza. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I have the honor tonight of presenting this year's Sophomore of the Year Award. And uh, this individual who's going to win this award had great work ethic and dedication over these last two years which helped him win this award. All right, uh, I know some of the stats from this last year. He ended up the year with 19 tackles, which is one off the leader mark. He ended up with eight sacks, one forced fumble, one fumble recovery. All right, and if you younger guys over there like about those trophies, okay, make sure to follow this guy. He'll take you the right direction. He'll lead you to the right area. Okay. This year, sophomore of the year award goes to Nathan Prado. Prado, you're a tough one to follow me for this award right here. Good evening, uh, I'm Coach Wayne. I coach the inside linebackers. And I do have the honor of uh, awarding Best tackler of the year. And uh, this young man is a pleasure to coach, he's a very hard worker, and I'd like to read to you some of the stats this guy had. I'm going to start off with, I'll end with what his tackles were. First of all, he had two sacks for the year, he had two pass breakups, he had two interceptions, one call fumble, eight quarterback pressures, and he had seven big hits. And the reason why he's getting this award is because he had 92 tackles. And 33 of those were unassisted, and the other 59, I believe what it was, were assisted tackles. So a total of 92 tackles, Aaron Martinez.
young man had a few big names such as Rabbit, Eminem, and Woody from Post Story, and my favorite, the Great White Hope. <laughs> and just three years ago, this is the Shady White Lyman, who so used to the back of Lyman that year moved up to Baby Red. I had a lot of admiration for this young man as his want to and his aggressiveness stood out to me. I remember a good Austin Westlake during the interception, I was watching all 185 pounds of him in pursuit of the ball, get blindsided in which he was airborne. <laughs> I remember this very vividly. It hurt me as this victim to see that this had happened because I wanted to run and protect him. But of course, as coaches, we think of these young men as our kids. I took it personally because he also reminded me of my youngest son, Joshua. Well, the rest is history. He excelled in this position it right off the tackle and against the San Antonio Stevens was used as a fullback to pave the way for Brian Blake and Kevin Lindsay. He will be truly missed both as an athlete and as a person. He earned his spot in the heart of his tradition of offensive linemen. Mr. and Mrs. Stevenson, you did a great job raising your son. I thank you for allowing me to coach your son. And the best block of form goes to Jeremy Stevenson. Several good defensive backs. 